So far, our focus has been on series circuits, arrangements where current is the same in successive light bulbs, whatever their resistance. Voltage drops about particular bulbs in series depends on their resistances. Now we'll talk about an arrangement of bulbs wherein the voltage across each is the same, whatever the bulb resistance. Here we have two identical 2 ohm bulbs in parallel, connected to a 6 volt battery. I'm using 2 ohms for each bulb to keep the numbers simple, to clarify the ideas. Notice the two branches are similar to the parallel rungs on a ladder. Notice also that each bulb is connected to the 6 volt battery. There is 6 volts across each bulb, which means for identical bulbs that the current in each is equal. So they each glow as brightly as they would all alone. This further means that if one bulb blows out, the other will remain lit. A nice feature of parallel circuits. We see from Ohm's law that the current in each bulb is 3 amps. So what's the current in the battery? 3 amps plus 3 amps is 6 amps. For here the currents in each branch add. So current drawn from the battery separates into two branches, 3 amps for each branch, with a total of 6 amperes coming from the battery. We see that current divides, not voltage. Let's add a third identical bulb. If it were the same resistance as each of the lower bulbs, the current would be 3 amps. But to make it more interesting, this time let's make it a 3 ohm bulb, slightly higher resistance. What's the current in this 3 ohm bulb? Ohm's law tells us it's 2 amps. That's right, 6 volts across a 3 ohm resistor gives us 2 amps in this top bulb. And you know what? It won't glow as bright. More on that when we discuss electric power next lesson. So how much current does the battery supply? Well, it feeds 2 amps in the top branch, 3 amps in the middle branch, 3 amps in the lower branch. Can you see it's 8 amps? Yum! Let's check where we are. How much current passes this point? That's right, 2 amps to feed this top bulb. And how much current at this point? That's right, 3 amps, the current in the middle bulb. How much at this point? To answer this question, realize that 2 amps goes to the top bulb and 3 amps to the middle bulb. So the current here has got to be the sum of the two, 5 amps. Getting this? How much current passes this point? Can you see it's 8 amps? Because 8 amps feeds all bulbs. And how much current passes by this point? Can you see it's the same 8 amps returning to the battery? And how much through the battery? I hope you said 8 amps. The 8 amps is the total current produced by the battery feeding the entire circuit. Although current is established instantaneously in all parts of the circuit, we can think of 8 amps of electrons leaving one battery terminal and 8 amps returning to the opposite battery terminal, as I've indicated. All tuckered out, ready to be re-energized by chemical reactions in the battery. It's like buses leaving a bus terminal that branches into three streets. If 8 buses leave the terminal and peel off into parallel streets, how many return to the terminal for refueling? All eight. So it is with electric current. There's an important point about parallel circuits. From Ohm's law, eight amps drawn from six volts means the overall resistance of the circuit must be less than the resistance of any single bulb, less than two ohms. What would that overall resistance be? If we rearrange Ohm's law, and solve for resistance, we get R equals V over I. 6 volts divided by 8 amps gives 3 quarters of 1 ohm, appreciably less than the resistance of any bulb in the circuit. So here's a strong feature of parallel circuits. 
adding resistances in parallel reduces the overall circuit resistance. That's right, reduces, just as adding roads for our buses reduces traffic resistance. We'll learn more about equivalent resistance later. Something we've ignored so far is internal resistance of the battery. For our three bulbs, any resistance inside the battery is negligible. But adding too many bulbs can be a problem. Drawing larger currents can cause heating in the battery, which increases its internal resistance. But that's another story. Here's a photo of a parallel circuit with three identical bulbs. See how the wires from the battery connect to the middle branch, not the lower branch like our sketched circuit? The battery doesn't know the difference whether connected across the lower, middle, or top branch. In any of these cases, the branches with their bulbs are parallel to one another. But notice the lower bulb isn't lit. That's because the switch is open. If we close the switch, it will light up. I want to leave you with two questions. One, how, if at all, will the brightness of the upper bulbs be affected when the lower bulb is lit? Two, and how, if at all, will the current drawn from the battery be affected? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.